What's up, Leo? Yeah. Yeah, I'm living there talking here. Coming to you live with Daigo with your fight games. How we doing, Daigo? Hey, Ed, how's it going? Shit, yeah, man, I'm doing all right. That uh, GTA uh, UEVR video did a lot better than expected, huh? Yeah, you can say that again. A nightmare woke him up. Frightened by his mother's bedtime story. He searched for his sister's comfort. But she was nowhere to be found. Did pretty well. Alright man, so uh, what's it we're doing today? Well Ed, we're jumping back in the UEVR. And when people say UEVR is a game changer, <laughs> not sure if this is what they had in mind, but this is a literal game changer. Oh? Uh. Yeah, yeah. So check it out, today we are playing Bramble, the Mountain King with UEVR. Now, when I talk about game changing, this is what I mean. Originally, the game is played in a top-down isometric 2.5D side-scrolling platformer slash puzzler. A top-down skimmy dimity dimity what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, thanks to UEVR, we have been able to implement a toggle that allows you to, at any time, switch from first person to third person. All right? And while in first person, you also get six degrees of freedom motion controls. So yeah, literal game changer. Oh man, you shitting me. No man, no, no. And here's the kicker. This was all done with a couple of button presses, maybe 20 minutes of faffing about, trying to get it to work. There once was a girl who snuck out of her bedroom window at night, even though her mother had told her not to. She went into the forest, and at first it welcomed her with warmth, and a promise of adventures. But soon, the forest seemed to grow colder and darker. The girl was afraid and she wanted to go home, but Bramble crawled around her arms and legs and she could not get away. And the girl was never seen again. That is what happens when you do not listen to your mother. Especially you, Lilimoor. Their mother had said before kissing them goodnight. It is so fast. This tool, UEVR, is so powerful, so robust, that I can get results in 20 minutes that would have taken me days with Cheat Engine and Vorpex to do. It's an absolute godsend. I love it. So you're telling me uh, that you took a side-scrolling platformer Top situation. Yep. And you put it in the first person VR with six off motion controls? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like anything, it's not 100% perfect. For instance, the UI doesn't match up exactly where it should in the game world. And that's because we're obviously shifting perspectives. But to combat that, we're using the toggle system that was newly introduced with UEVR version 1.2. What this allows is I can toggle from first person back to third to get the original perspective. I'm also able to toggle a 2D screen, a floating 2D screen in front of me, so that the UI kind of matches up where it should in the original game. So what I'm saying is at some points when you're playing in first person or even third person and you're aiming at something and it doesn't quite match where it should be, you can just toggle into the 2D screen and it will match up exactly. You're able to play and get past that particular section. All right, all right, cool, cool. So yeah, okay. How exactly do we go about that? Carl, you wanna, you wanna hop in here? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, hey guys. Yo, fuck you, Carl. Asshole. Yo, fuck you. Where was my phone call for the GTA video? You got... Goddamn Carl Johnson. I'm your Carl, man. I'm your Carl. Alright, guys, come on. Jeez. <laughs> Ed, stop it. Yeah, sorry about that fiasco, Carl, but... Look, you're here now. <laughs> okay, what do we do? <sighs> Alright, well, as you said, UEVR is very, very simple, so... Just download our profile. Go to the link in the description, download it. Alright, open up your UEVR. Go to import profile and import it. That's it. 
You're ready to go. The darkness outside scared him. Not being with his sister scared him even more. So right off the bat, you were talking about the key binding. Okay. So we have set the first person slash third person toggle button to the zero numpad. And we have set the 2D screen toggle to number one. And if for whatever reason you need to, we have set the disable VR toggle to number two on your keypad. Now if you guys want to play with a controller, that's possible also to put the key bindings in. The nearby forest was a familiar place during the day. But at night, it was a different story. There was no trace of Lilimur, and Ulle wished he could ask the pine cones if they had seen her. But if the pine cones knew about her fate, they kept it to themselves. So you're going to need an extra program called Joy to Key. Go ahead, link in the description, download it, it's completely free. All right. Now what we have done is we have mapped key 0, 1, and 2 to the R tree, L tree, and triangle buttons. Those buttons are not used in the game at all, so we're not conflicting in any way. So you're able to get those toggle key bindings on a controller also for frictionless gameplay. Now unfortunately, when you're playing with your motion controls, it's not possible to add the key bindings to the motion controls, at least as far as we can see. We've tried a few ways and uh, we've always come up short. However, the six degrees of freedom motion controls that Daigo was originally talking about, it's literally just for show. It doesn't actually do anything to the game. So while it's good for immersion and a feeling of presence, you don't actually need to play with your motion controls. It's just for the candle at the beginning, really. Just for immersion, for ambiance. Yeah, I mean, it's a cool addition, but uh, that's that's right, girl. You, you actually lose nothing by playing with a controller. In fact, that is how the game was originally meant to be played, so... Yeah, so that's it. You guys get downloading and playing. As I said, you'll be up and running in minutes. Playing Bramble, the Mountain King, in first-person VR. Third person VR. Literal game changer. See y'all in game. Yeah, thanks, Carl. So, yeah, as you can see, that was a very, very simple setup. You do that in minutes, you will be playing Bramble in first person VR. So, what is Bramble the Mountain King all about? Well, I've already gone through the gameplay mechanics, but what is the story all about? Basically, it's a Nordic fairy tale. You're this little guy, and you're searching for your sister in this Scandinavian style fairy story. Grimm's fairy tale kind of situation. And you're going to come across a lot of mythical creatures like gnomes, like trolls, all that kind of good stuff from Scandinavian folklore. And just like any good Scandinavian fairy tale, it's dark and it's scary. <laughs> this is not a Disney fairy tale, you guys. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. So as I say, the UEVR implementation is pretty damn good. It's very immersive, especially in first person seeing everything from a new perspective. Can't be beaten. The feeling of actually being in that world cannot be beaten. As I say, the caveats being, sometimes the UI doesn't line up exactly where it should, but you've got the toggle system in place. If there's part of the game that's hard to navigate in first person, switch to third person, how the game was originally played, to get around that. Or vice versa, if there's something in third person you want to get a closer look at, switch to first person. Go take a look. <laughs> it adds a whole new dimension to the game Bramble the Mountain King. So yeah. We're going to be shooting down this rabbit hole at light speed in terms of UEVR. We're going 
We're going balls deep into your head. Whoa! Yeah, we're going balls deep into you, viewer. We're going to be checking out as many Unreal titles as we can. We're going to see what we can do. It's so much fun. Yeah, I'm having a blast with this. So I guess we're going to leave it there, you guys. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. If you've any thoughts, queries, any critiques, put them down below. If indeed there are any games you'd like to look at VRifying in the future, put those down below and we will presumably get back to you eventually. You can also follow us on TikTok for our adventures over there, which are basically condensed versions of what we do over here. And, uh, yeah, follow us on all social medias. Uh, all links will be in the descriptions. And, yeah, looking forward to seeing you there also. All right, VRifying Games out. A light in the dark. A symbol of hope. A spark of courage. What do you have there? Lily Moore asked. It glimmers beautifully. Hmm. What a strange rock. Light as a feather. She investigated closely. <gasps> Let us play, little brother, Lillamore babbled. See if you can knock down this pine cone. Hmm.